for the White House on the front lines of election 2012. Brought to you by 7-Eleven 7 election Unbiased, fair, extremely caffeinated. Only then. Seizing the final moments of the campaign, Republican vice presidential nominee Paul Ryan hit the streets of Columbus, Ohio to visit with the city's homeless and clarify his economic position that they did this to themselves and have no one else to blame. Maggie Holbrook has the story. Maggie. Thanks, Andrea. Paul Ryan started his day before dawn at the St. Alexis Soup Kitchen, serving meals to over 50 homeless men and women, reportedly whispering, you didn't pay for any of this, to each of them individually. I met him. I mean, this guy comes all the way out here from Washington, out in the cold, and he shakes me personally by the face and shouts, it's not my job to help you. He took time to yell, lazy, lazy, lazy in my face. He didn't have to do that. Congressman Ryan continued his morning at a local public school where he scolded a six-year-old black girl about the dilapidated state of her school building. Now he's headed to a local hospital where he'll tour the ICU and personally pull the plug on elderly patients draining our already strapped Medicare program. Wow, Maggie, if Paul Ryan is tired from slapping change cups out of homeless veterans' hands, he's certainly not showing it. You get the sense that after months of stumping and televised debates, this is where he wants to be, among the downtrodden and helpless, convincing them that they deserve 100% of the situation they're in. All right, thank you so much, Maggie. Checking in with the other side, we go to Wilmington, Delaware, where a confident Joe Biden is voting as quickly as possible so no one thinks he's masturbating in the voting booth. 